Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought we could do a little kind of, you know, summary, get ready with me, walk you through my summer routine. You feel me? Before we jump in, today's video is sponsored by Hawaiian Tropic. So thank you so much, Hawaiian Tropic, for sponsoring today's video, and thank you to you guys for supporting me as always. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my sunscreen. <laughs> Obviously, that's what we're here for, you know what I mean? For my face, I'm gonna use the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Weightless Face Visage. <laughs> I'm using SPF 30. See this right here? Feels as if it's barely on. That's what's up. I like this one as like a daily sunscreen because it just feels like really nice and hydrating. It doesn't feel thick or heavy or anything like that. So I put a very generous amount of that on. And that's kind of like the last step in my skincare routine. So everything else, I put like all my like, like cleanser, obviously, toner, moisturizer, etc., And then I go in with my sunscreen as the final, final step underneath my makeup. And this one as well is dermatologist tested. Won't clog your pores. Also the smell of this, when they first like sent me the package with all the sunscreen, I like pumped some out in the back of my hand and I was just smelling it and I was like, I could cry. I could cry smelling this because it's so, I could cry now just thinking about it because it's so reminiscent of like just being on like vacation and like out in the warm sun and like feeling so good. And I was so like quarantined in my home. <laughs> so I like to take that face one down my neck just because it has that kind of more like moisturizer type feeling where it's really, really hydrating. So I feel like that's just really nice for that area as well. And that guy is also oil free as well if that's um, a concern of yours as well as cruelty free. Okay, and then for my body, I'm going to be using the uh, Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Weightless Clear Sunscreen Spray SPF 30 in my little spray. I like to just do my spritz, and then a lot of the times I'll just kind of rub it on just to make sure I have like a nice even application. Same thing with this guy, it just reminds me so much of like vacation over the years. We used to live, I'm saying we as in me and Alyssa because she's editing my videos, but we used to live in like this place called Kelowna and it's like really nice and warm in the summers. It brings me right back to like being on the beach. Just like carefree. We didn't work yet. Alyssa worked. Alyssa's worked since she was a wee babe, but I didn't work. I just sat at the beach because I was a teenager, a reckless teenager without a cause. We're in Hawaiian tropic, lounging in the sunshine, living my best life. I wasn't ready for what was about to come, AKA adulthood. So I go for the spray on my body. It's just quick and easy and the same thing. It feels really nice and thin on the skin. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything or like get sticky or anything like that. Every day, every day with the sunscreen. Not sometimes, not only if you're out in the sun, every day. It wasn't a priority for many a year for me, you know? It was something that I did if I knew I was gonna be out in the sun for like eight hours. <sighs> Your late 20s hit you hard and you come to realize the importance. And this is my <laughs> really um, terrifying advisory, my public service announcement for everyone. The spray also is dermatologist tested and it has uh, 12 hours of moisturization and you can get it in SPF 30 or SPF 50. And those are both broad spectrum UVA, UVB protection. And you can pick those up at most leading Canadian retailers such as Walmart, but I'll have links down below in the description. Again, thank you so much, Hawaiian Tropic. Okay, on with the rest of the daily routine with my sunscreen on and ready to go and prepared lip balm usually, any kind of like nice thick lip balm. And then for my hair, I just did like, I curled it yesterday and then I used my uh, Playa Endless Summer Spray. I spritz that through, do a little quick scrunch just cause I feel like it adds like a nice little bit of like a beachy texture kind of thing. And it kind of like reinvigorates my curls from yesterday. And that's it. <laughs> do I brush it even you ask? If my friend Nolan that does my hair is watching, then yes, I do brush it. If he's not watching, then sometimes no, I don't. Okay, I'll zoom you guys on in. So I'm gonna put a little bit of eye primer on. 
I've been using my freaking Too Faced shadow insurance like religiously. I don't know, man. It might be my like favorite eye primer at present. I haven't used anything from Too Faced in like a hot minute, but that one just really is doing it for me. Okay, and then I'm just gonna quickly set that with a skin tone shadow. I'm going to take my uh, By Mario uh, Master Mats, Master, yeah, Master Mats palette, and I'm gonna grab just like this kind of light shade here. I'll probably actually dabble back and forth between these two. It's so funny, I was thinking the other day about how I've been using this palette in a lot of videos, um, and I was like, I wonder if that's getting like annoying for people, but I remember like, I think it was Nikki Tutorials that people were getting mad at her for like always using the same products and stuff like that. And she was like, sorry guys, like I'll try and change it up. <laughs> she was like apologizing in this one video. And I was like, I feel like the tables have turned now and people like wanna see you using the same products all the time. So hopefully that's what's going on and everyone's fine with the fact that I keep using this palette endlessly. I'm just doing a quick little bit of that shade through my crease just to deepen it up a tiny, tiny bit. I'm gonna take a clean brush and I'm going to grab my Auric Eye Duo in Temper. I'm gonna use the cream portion on my eyeball. I just like to use a fluffier brush with those. And I'm going to bring that all the way across my lid. And I do the inner corner usually last when there's like a little bit less product on my brush. And then I'll kind of just use the same brush that I applied with to blend it out as well. Once I'm done, like kind of packing on that color on the lid. I love using cream shadows as a base for like a powder shadow over top, especially in the summer, because I feel like it just, any creasing that might have taken place in my powder shadow just is, it's not happening. Then I'm gonna be using uh, my Tarte Chrome Paint Throwback uh, in the shade Froze. I think this is actually a newer shade, even though like this product is kind of a throwback, I think the shade is a little bit newer. Um, and I'm gonna grab that on a little Smith 253 brush and I'm going to bring that down the center of my lids. I kind of apply it almost in like, like a, like a diamond shape. Like I kind of apply it a little bit like thinner towards my lash line and then I extend outwards through my crease and then I just kind of tap a little bit on just above my crease sort of in this nice diamond shape and I just feel like it adds like a nice little bit of dimension to the lid I do really like the kind of more like shimmery shadows and cream shadows and stuff like that in the summer I just feel like it just makes me feel like I don't know an ethereal goddess is that too far I'm gonna grab hmm what shade am I gonna grab from here? Maybe this shade right here. I'm gonna apply it like really lightly. I'm just going to kind of bring it along my lash line almost in lieu of a liner, but I don't need much. I just kind of stamp that along my lash line. I love that sunscreen. Every time I like move my face, it's like I just like smell myself. It's just a really beautiful time. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes and put on a mascara. I don't really opt for a waterproof mascara in the summer, to be honest. Maybe if I'm gonna be like at the beach beach, like I'm gonna go like swim in the waves and such. If I'm just like going about my day, I just go for a normal kind of like more transfer proof mascara. So I'm just using my Bite Upswing mascara. It's just in the sample packaging. <laughs> they probably don't enjoy that I do this, but it just is what it, I'm so sorry, Bite, I don't know what to tell you. I like to use a product until it's empty. I'm gonna put on a summer playlist to really get in the vibes. Summer 2021 car ride. What about summer vibes? Oh yeah, okay. These are summer vibes. Okay, listen, I am gonna put on lashes, okay? I don't know what to tell you about the type of person that I am. Maybe I'll put on a half lash though, because that feels like a little less outrageous. I will wear like a full lash all summer long and not give a dang about nothing, but I do have these sensitive baby blues, okay? Let me talk to you about that for a hot minute. My eyes are so sensitive in the sunshine, okay? I have to wear sunglasses 24-7 in the summer. And so I do find that sometimes like 
more of a half lash is more comfortable and wears a little bit longer for me in the summer just because like it's not in that inner corner that's where it gets me is the inner corner starts going those are such nice lashes these are the house of lashes siren flare these lashes are so perfect because they're not that long like normally when you get lashes they're really 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 long so they're kind of like suited for like any type of like eye shape and length and stuff these ones are like naturally just like shorter this way and they're perfect as a more kind of like natural lash they don't go like all the way to the inner corner for me which is just so nice for the summer and they're just comfortable and i feel like they're easier to apply if you struggle a little with that see they're so perfect i need to order more let's do our face i'm gonna put my under eye corrector on sometime i will sometime sometimes uh, plural i will actually forego this one if i'm going to be in like particularly hot weather for an extended amount of time just because this one is really 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 creamy that's the becca one it's really creamy so it does kind of like just have almost like a little bit too much moisture to it kind of thing for days that are like a little bit hotter. It's generally speaking a, a non-issue for me. I, I do live in Canada after all, as we're all like aware. I don't apply a huge amount of that. So it's usually not an issue in that way either. But like, I just find that sometimes mascaras that don't normally transfer will transfer a little bit more in the summer, or like really hot weather if I have that underneath my concealer so it's kind of like two creamy dewy things on top of each other because obviously my concealer is usually creamy and dewy as well okay and then i'm putting my little concealer on and i'm going to blend that out and kind of like downwards onto the redness on my cheek that's the other thing that's really nice about that sunscreen makeup just like sits so beautifully on top of it um there are some sunscreens that i feel like they either like pill or it kind of like breaks up your makeup a little bit more and that one is just like it plays really nicely no matter what i'm putting over top i find for my foundation i am going to do a tint let's speak about this why haven't you got on on board with sheer products if if you haven't if you have then great this doesn't you can skip ahead if you haven't gotten on board with sheer products why why not why don't we just let's let's try it it's nice I don't even have like that nice a skin, you know what I mean? Like, so if that was like the direction you were gonna head, like if that was the path you were gonna take of like telling me like, Sam, like I don't wanna wear like sheer brown and things, like whatever, like, and do, like follow your heart absolutely at the end of the day, but like also like, I don't know, maybe we give it a shot together, okay? I love a sheer product. I just feel like it's so much more comfortable to wear on my skin. I like feeling like I have that kind of like breathability. And also, I don't know like I just I like like a little bit of my skin showing through even though like that means like imperfections showing through I kind of want that <laughs> a little bit I just feel like it looks so nice and especially in the summer when like I don't know about you but like I like get like a little freckly and stuff sometimes so it's like just like having like a little bit of freckles and then like you have this full face of makeup and then like then your like cute little freckle moments can come through Maybe we let them come through. Anyways, I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty. Is it Ease Drop or Easy Drop? Doesn't matter. Blurring Skin Tint in shade 4. And I'm just grabbing that on my Beauty Blender. And then I'm going to just dot that all over. If you're wanting to like ease your way into wearing a more sheer coverage just for funsies, I feel like a nice place to start rather than going and picking up like a brand new foundation if you're like not that committed yet is taking the foundation that you currently use and like cutting it either with like a little bit of like your you could use your primer potentially sometimes certain primers like won't play well with foundations when they're like when you're trying to mix them together but you could potentially cut it with like your primer or like a moisturizer or a serum or something like that or even like a glowy like like glow less like a like glowy illuminator or whatever any kind of product like that that you have on hand i think that's kind of a nice way to like ease into sheer coverage because you don't have to go like straight to like a skin tint that maybe you won't end up using because you won't feel comfortable like for me i had to kind of like work my way there a little bit like i i couldn't wear something as sheer coverage as i wear now immediately out the gate from going like 
from a full, full, full coverage. So it's nice to kind of be able to like tailor your coverage in that way. But also you can just also rock a full face of high coverage foundation. That's still fine. God, I really love that. I'm surprised that anybody doesn't. It's, it's perfection to me. And again, I do feel like, I'm sure I've mentioned this at this point, but I do feel like that tint like gets better as I wear it too. Like when I first apply it, it looks like a little bit drier than I like. And like for the first maybe like hour after I apply it, I'm like, mm, this looks like a little dry. But like as the day goes on, I just feel like it gets better and better. And I just love it. So it's a great time. I actually, I don't even want these words to come from my mouth. Things have just changed for me a little bit, okay? Sometimes my nose gets a little bit oily now, okay? So sometimes, <laughs> God, this is my secret shame. Sometimes I put a little bit of powder on my nose, okay? If you have oilier skin or if you like a more matte finish, go ahead and apply some powder, man. I'm gonna take, you cannot, I cannot even describe how small of an amount of loose powder. I pick it up on my brush, I tap it off like completely. So there's basically nothing left on there. And then I just kind of like almost more like roll my brush into my skin and really like press that powder on because I really don't want to apply too much. I'm just kind of like applying enough so that I get like a little bit of that kind of like setting action. And then <laughs> because of who I am, I use my beauty blender and I just kind of like press over top of that powder. And I find that it kind of like almost like seals that powder in between so that I have like a little bit more wear time and a little bit less of like that kind of like oil coming through at the end of the day. But then I also like can get rid of that powdery texture by just quickly like kind of like pressing over top of it with my beauty blender because I really don't like especially since I do wear like cream products all over my face, I don't like it to look like one area is very visibly powdered and the rest isn't. So that's why I just kind of quickly press over top of it. That's it. Okay, for my bronzer, well actually I'm gonna quickly jump off. I'm gonna do my brows and then I'm gonna jump back on. Bear me. Okay, brows are on. I don't change anything about my brows in the summer. Same old, same old. Brow gel, tinted brow gel, powder, clear brow gel. I call it a day. I also added just a little bit of that temper cream underneath on like kind of the outer corners only. For my bronzer, I'm going to just do just kind of like a glowy cream product in like a new bronzy shade. And I'm just gonna take that on my beauty blender and I'm going to just kind of put that all the places I would normally put my bronzer or contour. And I'm gonna take that also across my nose. Is that almost? beautiful, just like subtle. Oh man, I just love it. Okay, so I don't stop with the creams in case that hasn't become an, like just abundantly clear. I don't stop with the creams in the summer. If you want, I'll demonstrate now. You can kind of press a powder over top of any kind of like cream or liquid product if you feel like you want to mattify it a little bit and have it be a little bit more long wearing for you. So same thing, I just kind of like press that powder on. For my blush, I'm gonna be using my Ilia Color Haze Multi-Use Pigment. I'm using that in the shade Waking Up. And I'm just going to work that onto my brush on the back of my hand and kind of stipple a little bit of the excess off and then go onto my face. This one I feel like isn't too like glossy or dewy where you're going to feel like you have to like set it I don't think, unless you do have oilier skin. But if you have a little bit of drier skin, I do feel like it's a dry enough formula that I don't find any issue with it. I can take a little bit of that across my nose too, just because I can take it really wherever I want. Do I feel like putting on a cream highlight today or just leaving it here? Maybe I'll do a little. I'm gonna take a little bit of a cream highlight just on my finger. And I'm just going to apply that right on the top of my cheekbone. Look at that nice, just like dewy glow. I just love it, man. I'll never get over it. Never say never, but I am going to say never. I don't think I'll ever be a person that can fully go back to like matte everything on my face. It's 
just wrong. It's not the way that I'm, I'm willing to live at this time. Put my little beauty mark on. Boop. What do I wanna do on my lips here? I'm gonna take my NYX lip liner in, I think it's 810, and I'm just gonna do a little bit of a lip line. And then I'm gonna put on my Fenty ooh, uh, mm, mm, cream in, oh, it's in Fenty Glow. I wish this one had the same scent as the original lip gloss. That's all she wrote, man. All right, you guys, that is everything for me today. That's my kind of go-to. It probably didn't feel that quick for you, but it feels quick for me. And it is quick when I'm not like sitting and talking through it. You know what I mean? But anyways, that's my like kind of like summer routine. I just like to do kind of like lighter eyes in the summer, a little bit of a lighter lash, still dewy makeup, never giving it up, sunscreen every day, a little bit of a glossy lip. That's it. And then I go sit on the beach in another world. <sighs> and I just enjoy my time. Thank you again so much to Hawaiian Tropic for sponsoring today's video. Thank you to you guys for watching today's video. I will see you next time. Peace out.